Well, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the giant Antarctica oil discovery. And yes, it is clickbait. And uh, as the incoming president, Donald Trump, would say, it's fake news. You are fake news. But it's a story that's out there, so we thought we should address it. You'll know by now that uh, we have trove databases that cover every aspect of energy, oil and gas and renewables right around the world for every country shown on this map. But of course, there is one sort of, well, continent that's missing from this map, and it's uh, Antarctica. We don't have a trove database for Antarctica. Now, this is the, uh, this is the article, uh, this one published by oilprice.com, but much of the industry press covered this story. Uh, it was back in May 2024 uh, and when the story came out, and pause the video if you want to read the detail. Uh, we summarize it in this next slide here. So it was Russia's uh, Rosgeo, they uncovered oil and gas reserves in British Antarctic territory. Now, the word uncovered is quite interesting. They certainly didn't drill for anything. They couldn't. It's illegal. There was no uh, activity like that. So we don't quite know exactly what was done. But uh, referring to them as reserves, well, definitely not reserves of, uh, in the conventional sense. Probably not even resources. Maybe just a desktop exercise uh, was conducted to come up, well, mm, you know, this could be the sort of size. But a very precise number found its way out into the industry press. 511 billion barrels. Well, anybody who sees that, and it looks like it's a sort of an accurate number, certainly going to get a little bit uh, head-scratching. What's this all about? Anyway, uh, the uh, articles go on to state it poses an environmental risk and challenge. Well, we'll have a look at that. It doesn't. The area, of course, is covered by the 1959 Antarctic Treaty, which, amongst other things, prohibits oil developments in the region. The article goes on, geopolitical tensions rise as Russia's activities in Antarctica are viewed as a move towards resource extraction rather than scientific research. Well, I think this is really kind of getting a little bit sensationalist here. I mean, it, it was a uh, scientific research vessel as far as we can uh, make out. And the moment you start talking about potential that there might be in the, the region, then somebody's going to view it as being a, a sinister move to try and um, to, to try and disrupt the pristine Antarctic region. So um, eh, it's nonsense. Revealed in evidence submitted. Indeed, it was to the British government, to the Commons Environment Audit Committee, and uh, back in May of 2024. And this was, uh, again, basically documenting that there had been a, a research vessel in the area. And somewhere, we haven't been able to find it, but if anybody does find it, please put it in the comments below, and we uh, others can, can see where this comes from. So Ross Geo, this is from their website here. Uh, Ross Geo uh, is the largest geological exploration company in Russia, so it says. And, you know, it goes on to talk about some of the, uh, some of the activities they get up to. But then it says, in total, more than 1,000 deposit fields, whatever a deposit field is, has been discovered by the holding subsidiaries. And, and they go on to list Astrakhan, Tengiz, and, and some of these other major oil and gas fields, and indeed uh, gold deposits that uh, have, have been identified. So that is where Ross Geologic is where they're located. Um, we haven't got in touch with them, but um, if they want to make some comment, we'll certainly look to publish an update in the future. So uh, here is a, uh, a map of the uh, Antarctic. Um, don't often see really the Antarctic on a, on, on a map. It's always on the that stretched out region at the, the bottom of the Mercator projection type uh, views that we, we tend to see. But here it is. And uh, the Weddell Sea area, that's the area where apparently this find was made. But uh, as I say, it, we don't think there's very much to it at all. This is quite an interesting map. It, it shows uh, all the claims in the region. And uh, if we start at the sort of top left, you can see that uh, the UK, Argentina, Brazil and Chile are um, all making claims for, for that sort of uh, quadrant. 
Uh, Norway has a claim there, presumably uh, on the back of um, you know Hansen's expedition to the South Pole, and hence their claim. Australia, we can see here, but in between the two Australias, we have a little bit of France uh, sandwiched in there. New Zealand makes a claim, and you know the Australian New Zealand quite understandable. And then this region uh, on the bottom left is Mary Badland. Now this is the largest unclaimed territory uh, on the planet. Mary Bird was the wife of um, Bird, the, uh, the US uh, explorer who, uh, who did a lot of the uh, mapping in, in this region and elsewhere. So um, yeah, you can see that that's the, uh, the, the current mess and perhaps uh, Antarctica should just be left as a, uh, as a territory for the world uh, without any interven intervention from, from, from any country but hey maybe that's a radical idea maybe i should keep very very quiet here's a map it's kind of a little bit confusing because uh, the map is actually showing the the elevation of the uh, the ice and you can see that sort of pinkish ridge there in the east antarctica that's the highest region and it goes all the way down to the the rona and um, ross ice shelves which are at sea level effectively and you can see that's the uh, that that is the elevation uh, and then there are some of these um, boreholes here, um, or they've taken samples, and uh, some of them here are tertiary and, and quaternary in age, whereas uh, on this uh, western part of the uh, Transantarctic Mountains, uh, we see uh, Proterozoic and Cambrian sedimentary rocks, and also some uh, Permian and Jurassic uh, in some of the regions. Now, there is actually quite a lot of geology out there on the uh, internet and uh, you know we we'll just show this map here as, as an example but there's also books uh, written on the subject here the geology of the antarctic continent you know there's lots and lots of information that uh, that can be found for, for 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 people who are interested in following up on that so what was discovered well we don't know. We have no idea. We haven't seen any details anywhere. Was uh, identified some kind of um, seismic or gravity magnetic anomaly, which suggested there could have been a very, very large uh, underground structure. What was it uh, that there were some of these shallow cores that maybe go a, a meter or two into the seabed, and they plucked them out and um, you know analyzed them and seen that there's some potential for hydrocarbons, you know, potential for them being source rocks. Um, again, we don't know. Or, or was it some kind of geophysical uh, anomaly, some sort of seismic anomaly, you know, maybe some kind of a, a gas hydrate, and they're very, very common uh, in some of the, the deeper oceans. Again, we don't know. If you have any information, put it in the comments underneath. Now, um, just imagine, just imagine that you had found an oil field in Antarctica. Well, I mean, just look at the place. I mean, really? And of course, what we've got here, we've got to imagine if you're developing an oil field in Antarctica, well, initially, you know, it's illegal. You'd be, uh, you'd be violating uh, various international treaties. It can't be done. There aren't any licenses. Nobody's awarding any licenses down here. None have been applied for. There's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's again it's illegal um it's a deep water to ultra deep water region the uh, climate down here well it's extreme harsh weather i can't imagine any infrastructure whether it be a uh, ships rigs drill ships platforms i mean really to withstand the uh, environment down here would be absolutely beyond anything that we, uh, we we've managed to engineer to date we know that there are icebergs that are, that are carving uh, off parts of the Antarctica, which which are about the size of a, a good a good country, and and a, any of these would absolutely plow through any infrastructure that anybody might contemplate putting down in the future. Just not possible. Scoured seabeds, well, that could only happen where the, the water's shallow enough, and in this case, most of the water's way too deep. So, But, you know, if they were trying to get land these things onto uh, the nearby shore, then, um, yeah, some of these, uh, some of these iceberg, icebergs would just uh, scour the seabed and, and, and pluck everything that might be put down. It'd be a huge uh, undertaking. 
think of the expense, I mean, of getting seismic vessels or drill rigs or uh, drill ships or even, you know, platforms down here and, and getting them plumbed in. It would be enormous. And so the economic threshold, the minimum economic reserves that would be required, they would be absolutely huge down here. I mean, it might be that a field that measures, um, you know, in, in size is billions of barrels. It might actually be sub-economic, um, even at that size, because it's got, uh, there are so many challenges. One of them, obviously, it's hundreds, if not thousands of miles away from Weddell Sea or anywhere else in Antarctica to, um, well, here's to Buenos Aires and Santiago. But uh, you can just see Cape Town just poking uh, on the right on the horizon there. So uh, it's very, very remote from anywhere else. Uh, in all, it's got to be said, this story is a non-story. It's fake news. But we wanted to put this out there because, you know, people will talk about it. It crops up in, in AI when you look for uh, Antarctic oil discovery. This article comes up, talks about this 511 billion barrel, I won't call it a discovery, but um, this announcement that there's a huge amount of oil and gas down there. And... Uh, it really is. It's just fake news. But listen, feel free to add comments below. We hope this uh, redresses uh, the fake news that's out there on the uh, on the internet. And yeah, it can stay as testament to there is nothing going on down in Antarctica. Antarctica is safe and uh, we're very, very pleased about that. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and uh, ring the bell if you want to uh, find out when our next videos are coming out. But uh, there'll be a lot more in 2025. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye for now.